guys welcome back to tech dose and in this video we will look at divide array into arrays with max difference which is from lead code number 2966 let's now read the problem statement in this problem you are given an integer array nums of size n where n is a multiple of 3 and a positive integer k divide the array nums into n by 3 arrays of size 3 satisfying the following condition the difference between any two elements in one array is less than or equals to k return a 2d array containing the arrays if it is impossible to satisfy the conditions return an empty array if there are multiple answers return any of them so if you look at the first example here we have 3 3 3 that means 9 elements and the k value is 2 so we can divide it into 3 arrays each of size 3 each of size 3 in such a way that the maximum minus minimum in each of these arrays are going to be less than equals to k if you can do such kind of arrangement then you have to print any one of such arrangement in the form of a 2d array where uh, you will have n by 3 has the number of arrays and in each array the size is going to be 3 right and if it is impossible then you have to return an empty array all right so the problem statement is very straightforward if you look at the constraint then n value is 10 to the power of 5 that means you cannot write two loops to solve this problem you cannot make it n square otherwise it will become 10 to the power 10 computations which is more than 10 to the power of 8 which is a standard for one second so looking at the constraint itself you can make out that you are required to write an algorithm no more than n log n okay so an n log n or an order of an algorithm would work best for us now let's look at an idea of how to solve this problem so if you are given an array then uh, it is already mentioned that it will be of of a size which is multiple of 3 so if you take the size mod of 3 it, it is going to be 0 that means it is always possible to do a 3 size grouping on this given array so what should be the strategy to do the grouping well if you understand the problem was asking about whenever you do a grouping then within each group the maximum minus minimum must be less than equals to k but if you do any random grouping that may not work the best possible three items to be present must be the closest triplet the closest triplet because if there are options let's say a b c and d if there are options and they are arranged in the format of a d b c then will you take a d b as the triplet or will you take d b c or what will you take as the triplet looking at the number line arrangement you can make out that the triplet must be the three closest ones that means you take a b c or you take b c d there cannot be any other option you can i mean a b d will not be a good option because c is closer if you take c then the maximum minus minimum is going to be minimized so in this case in order to solve the problem within each group the maximum minus minimum must be minimized okay and if you want to minimize the max minus minimum in a group then you have to arrange them on a number line on a number line and arranging all the elements on a number line can be done by just sorting it so simply if you if you apply sorting in this case i have sorted in ascending order then all the closest elements will come together and if you sort them then you can make the grouping of size 3 and you can always say that you know i will be comparing the array at i with array at i minus 2 because if you look at the indices array at i if it is i if the i value is 2 i value is 2 then i minus 2 value will be 0 if the i value is 5 then the i minus 2 value is going to be 3 so i will always compare the ith index with the i minus 2th index find the difference if this difference happens to be uh, less than equals to k then it is fine if it is greater than k then you need to return an empty array and this has to be done for all the elements all the boundary elements of the three size array that means you can start iterating from index 2 and you can go to index 5 index 8 index 11 and so on that means you have to increment your iterator with a jump size of 3 so if you do that then you can solve the problem and you can easily say whether it is possible to uh, form n by 3 number of triplets which are valid according to the given k value okay so i'll show you the dry run that 
if you are given an array you have to sort it so i have already taken a sorted array and then you check array at 2 with array at 0 if the k value is 2 3 minus 2 is less than equals to 2 it is fine so increment the iterator by 3 size so it will go to 5 5 my uh, i mean check the fifth item minus the third item 4 minus 3 again less than equals to k increment iterator by 3 jump size check 8 with 6 9 minus 7 again less than equals to uh, this uh, 2 so it is fine and whenever you are iterating whenever a triplet is found to be valid you have to push the array at i minus 2 comma array at i minus 1 comma array at i all these three items have to be pushed in the form of an array into the result result is a 2d array right now if you look at the second example again the k value being 2 here i have already sorted it so check the uh, second item with the 0th item 5 minus 2 is greater than k so immediately you can return an empty list that means it will be impossible to form the valid triplets so i think this is clear it is an easy level problem and the time complexity is n log n for the sorting because after sorting it, it is order of n and the space complexity i will assume is order of one assuming that the result is not counted in the space otherwise you can take order of n as the space okay so i hope this is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the nums array and the value k the first step is to sort and find the size and then we will be taking the result in 2d array and we will be iterating from index 2 and make a jump size of 3 every time so you see we have made a jump size of 3 and in every group we will be checking nums i minus nums i minus 2 which is the max minus minimum and if it is greater than k then we will be returning an empty list and if it is not then we will be pushing the entire triplet into the list of list which is the result finally we will be returning the result i hope this code is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you